How the fuck are you chimps doing today? Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I started this game up before. I heard that bang in tunes, and I was like, I gotta let it ride. So, let's, uh, let's let the in-game music ride for a little bit, shall we? We will have to turn that on a tad, though, unfortunately. That's probably good. I'm sure my followers will scream at me if, uh, they'll scream at me if it's a little bit too loud. Anywho, chimps, we're playing fucking Balatro? Balatro? I don't know how the fuck you pronounce this, but whatever it is, we're playing it, chimps. Borderless, I mean, hmm. It doesn't say it's at the right resolution. Also, is this? Was it properly streaming? Hold up, hold up. Why is it not? Oh, there we go. Is it getting my display capture? There we go, chimps. That's better. Apologies, for whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, it keeps flipping back all chimpy. Is it good? Actually, I'm going to turn that down a tad bit more. It's banging music, but... Obviously, my voice is the reason we're here, so let's make sure that's the star of the show. Uh, Alright, so we're going to jump into Bal- I'm going to say Balatro. Balatro. Balatro sounds- Balatro sounds more, you know, exotic, but I think it's Balatro. I'm just going to say Bala, maybe. Hey, Bala's easier. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> you can move the card around. I don't know why that's so impressive. <laughs> I'm sure no one else has ever discovered that before on Twitch. Okay, so how to describe this game? Um, it's a poker roguelike, is what everyone's saying. Exactly what that means is a bit hard to describe. Essentially, you're playing poker, not really against anything, but I'll just jump in and we'll, we'll understand. So I did play like 10 minutes just to get a feel of what the game is. Uh, there are different decks. So the first one, I have an extra discard every round. I unlock the blue deck, which means I have an extra card in my hand every round, which is actually pretty good. Uh, just as a aside, I have not that much clue about how to play poker at all. Barely ever played poker in my life. I am way too broke for that shit. So yeah, we're gonna be learning together. It is a really fun game, and it feels like it's right up my alley in terms of you know art style, music, We'll see. Okay. So, a quick overview here. Blind is essentially the rounds of the opponents you're going against every every turn. So, uh, the first one's pretty simple. We just need to score 300 points. I'll explain how that works soon. Uh, the next one's big blind, and the hook is your boss for the run. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just start. You do have an option to skip, which actually gives you a bonus if you skip but i guess you lose the option to make more money and buy at the shop i think initial cards and booster packs in the next shop are free that actually seems pretty huge to be honest let's try that and see i think we won't get the shop if we do it but after this the next one will be free yeah so see we skip it now we go straight to this is five dollar per skipped blind so it'll give me ten dollars honestly that may be more than i would make actually doing this but i i'm gonna play the game so you guys actually see how it works uh there's some run info so it shows you um the different peers uh in in poker and what's the ranking which is good i'll have to refer to this a lot we have our blinds and vouchers which you'll see later on all right let's go in so, if you look at that run info again, what we're aiming for ideally is a straight flush, which is five cards, all consecutive, that are also the same suit. Uh, doesn't happen very often. So, but this essentially shows how you get the points that adds up to this. So, it, you'll see after I go through one round how it works. Okay, so it's because I have a three of a kind here. Uh, I have four, five, seven, it's not much going on there. Uh, I don't have five of anything. 
So we'll consult this. There's three cards of the same rank, and they can play with any like unscored or a, the full house, which is three of a kind and a pair. So how it works is each you basically have five hands. Every time you play cards, which you'll see how that works, you go down one hand. You also have the option to discard, which doesn't take your hand. Um, so what I might do here, because I really want to get two of a kind, I might discard all of these, all right? Okay, nice. So you can see there. Oh, so another thing is that each card gives you a certain number of chips. So generally the higher value card, the higher the chips. The threes are giving me three. Face cards give me 10, ace gives you 11. Uh, so I'll play it around and you'll see how this all works. So we'll do three aces, which is three of a kind. And we'll do both of the kings, which is a full house, and they all give a bunch of chips. Uh, and then yeah, we play that. Any card that's a part of this, the chips it gives gets counted for. And then there's also a multiplier. So you can see we got 372 chips in that one round. Uh, we got another three of a kind here. Uh, I don't need a ton of points. I can do the three of a kind. I think if I put those two, it's going to be unscored. So basically, they're not going to count the chips, which isn't ideal. I do have King Jack 10. Essentially, I just want a 9, and I would get a a full a flush there, right? Um, so let's put... Let's keep those. I'll put the 2 just to get rid of it. And I will play this and essentially hope that we get a 9 next round yeah see essentially it doesn't count the chips from that but honestly yeah we go to a 450 so we're good nice and that's how you beat each round is they have increasing numbers of points you have to hit which you get from getting higher and higher combos uh so yeah see we only made seven bucks you actually should have just skipped that but anywho and then you get the shop so and everything is zero. I don't know if the first one I pick is gonna be is gonna cause everything else to go up. The way this works, there's the jokers, which are cards that are essentially power-ups throughout the run. So for instance, creates up to two random tarot cards. Uh, which uh, that's just a, a active, I guess. This joker plus one multiplier per hand played and minus one per discard. So, the less I discard, the better it is. Uh, I don't even really like that. I have one of four spectral cards and one of five planet cards. Celestial packs contain the planet card for your most played poker hand. Hmm. Celestial packs always contain the planet. Isn't this celestial? Huh. So maybe this works. We get the voucher. Redeem it. Right. Okay, and then this still costs zero. So then we get the celestial pack, which should give us the ideal card, essentially. Level up, full house plus two multiplier. But full house, I think, is three of a kind and two pairs. Not terrible. Level of flush, which I think is just everything. Cons oh no, it's just everything in the same suit. Three of a kind, four of a kind, and straight flush, which I think is the hardest. I don't want to get straight flush. So I get an extra 20 chips if I can do three of a kind. Honestly, I think that's better, no? Because even the full house still requires three of a kind and it's not that much better. Uh, I'm gonna go for three of a kind.
did that do what it was supposed to do? I don't know. Okay, so everything does cost zero. Sure. So there's taro cards, which are, I guess, power-ups you have during the run. This Joker, I feel, is trash. I don't want to get this. Uh, I'll open this, I guess. I still have no idea how half of this shit works. Or like 90% of this. So it creates two copies of one selected card. That's simple. Adds polychrome to a random joker. And it destroys other jokers. I have no jokers, so that's fine. Well, I don't know if it means the joker in... Oh, no, no, it does mean the joker at the top. Not like in the deck. To destroy one random card in your hand and add two random enhanced aces. <laughs> Hmm. So I get two aces, but I destroy a card. Blue Seal creates a planet card if this card is held in your hand at the end of the round. I think two copies of one card is probably the way to go. No. And I want to get a card that's in the center so that I have a bigger chance of getting a flush, right? Or not a flush, a straight. Yeah, so let's do... Seven? Sure. And then we continue. Alright, so now it's the big boss. Essentially, this is the uh, the downside you have for each boss that you fight. So for in this case, discard two random cards per hand played. Which obviously is annoying if you're trying to set up for specific, uh, specific hands. Alright, let's go can't skip it so I don't remember it discards two cards at the end of every round that I play so ideally if I have any match I just want to go for it right away so in this case see it's like I can go three four five if I had a six I can get seven and again if I had a six so I really want a six here but unfortunately uh, it's not gonna work I only have a seven pair And if I save anything, it's going to get rid of two of them, which is brutal. Mm. Plus, I need 600 points in five turns of playing. Uh, this is rough. I'm one club away from getting a flush. But even that feels unlikely. Now, if I discard... Right, it only does that per hand plate. If I discard, it doesn't get rid of them. So I can kind of control it that way. Right, so it's like 10, 9. And these ones give you more chips, as you can see. So 10, 9, 8, 7. And I just really need a 6, basically. So should I discard these three and hope that I get a 6? Uh, it's really risky, isn't it? But that is, it's a gambling game. Because uh, there's nothing else I can get. Alright, let's try it. Yes, let's go. Okay, okay. Alright, so we got a straight, which works out nicely. Two of these are going to be discarded, so... Uh, and then there is a multiplier, which I don't fully understand how the multiplier is calculated just yet. But I do understand how the points are calculated, so... Enhances a card into a wild card, creates up to two random planet cards. Let's just play this for now. Mm -hmm. Then all of the points will be counted for. So that's a huge round. Okay, we got 280 that round. Uh, what do we work? Okay, so I can see we have... Uh, what is it? Yeah, full house. So we got a full house here. Uh, not much else. I think we just go for the full house, right? Yeah, I think so. Lose two cards. That discard is really annoying. I'm glad you get it out of the way early on. Alright, another huge round. Yeah, we should be fine. 
we should be fine. Five, six, seven. There's two jacks. Hmm. We could just go for the two higher pairs, I guess. Uh, it only gives us 40. Just just enough. Yeah, it's kind of a sad way to go out. Oh, we're one clubs away from a flush, though. Let me see. Maybe maybe we can go out on a buying here. Um, because if I get rid of all of these, let me make sure. Yeah, five cards of the same suit. So discard all of these. Right. Get one more club. Do a flush, and yeah, there we go. That's a better way to end it. Oh, big points. Huge points. That was our biggest round so far. Oh, oh, oh nice. Okay, that's good practice because it, it ramps up super quickly, as you're about to see. Seven bucks, that's it? Mm. Played face cards give plus 30 chips when scored. Oh, so these are the jokers, right? Essentially, you can have up to five of them, and that's what really enhances your run. That seems huge, though. Plus 30 chips per face card. Plus 40 chips for each remaining discard. Honestly, I don't like having my discard limited that much. I think I'm going to go for the joker that gives me plus 30 chips for any face cards. And it does a weird cycling thing too. You'll see when I have multiple jokers. And there's two standard packs. Eh, let's go for the pink one. Giving me some Yu-Gi-Oh vibes. Uh, creates a taro card when discarded. Interesting. Earn three dollars when this card is played and scored, which might be better. And then just a normal king. Uh, I think I don't have much of an understanding of how to use the tarot cards yet. So let's lean into money in a gambling game. That's usually a good bet. And yeah, next round. So rerolls and the next shop start at zero. Gives a free Mega Buffoon pack. <laughs> Choose two of up to four Joker cards. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I think I'll fight this one. Skip this to get the Buffoon pack. And then hopefully that makes us be be uh, ready for the boss. All spade cards are debuffed. Debuffed basically mean that they can't be used to create... Uh, they can be used to create these, but they don't count as the score, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, and I guess this shows you how the multiplier gets calculated, right? Probably should have explained that before. As you can see, I've, I've not been doing too bad. I like that they show you what combos you've been making too, just to help strategize. Okay, let's do it. So we got to score 805 turns. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I think Ace is considered low in this. It's a little bit strange. I mean, we'll find out soon. Three, four, five. King, Queen. Ugh. Okay, I guess we can start off with a flush. Yeah, that'd be nice. We can keep the two pairs because you don't. That was the boss that was causing me to discard. Uh, you don't discard usually, which is actually nice. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. This obviously gives me plus 30 chips for face cards, so I do want to use face cards as soon as I can. Uh, which, does Ace not count as a face card in this case? It doesn't look like it. Ooh, that's juicy. Uh, so we got two pairs. Which, the only thing you can really do with two pairs is that it's... Getting three and two is actually better. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this feels like a case where maybe I discard these. Right? Hope I get a king or a queen, and that'll give me a much higher score. Yeah, 
let's go for it. Uh, okay, not exactly what I was aiming for. And uh, give me a chalk. I mean, I can get a pair. You can still play cards even if they don't add to anything. They're just unscored. Uh, king, queen, jack. Uh, I still think I want to lean into getting one of these. So I'll play this. It's not going to give me a lot, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so there's our... Ooh, our king. So that's gonna be huge. Oh wait, fifty times five, three of a kind. Wait, three of a kind's more than full house. Three of a kind's fifty. Oh, oh! I thought the multiplier was in order. What the hell? I guess it's not. So three of a kind is worth the third most. Four of a kind. Ha! Huh, that's weird. Three of a kind, and then three of a kind and a pair is right after it. So doing three and a kind of pair is actually worse than just doing the three of a kind. Interesting. If that's the case, I'll just throw those in so that I get it anyway. Like I just get them out the way. And I get plus 30 for each one. Honestly, that might have been why putting that was better. Ooh, huge round. I love that Joker. Five bucks? Are you kidding me? Destroys up to two selected cards. I don't think I want to. This just straight up doubles my money, which would just put me at ten. Uh. Hmm, yeah, that basically gives me five. This costs three, so I get two. That's not... That doesn't math out very well. Reroll costs five, too. Uh, that's the buffoon pack, which I'm going to get next round. The vouchers are permanent upgrades. The jokers are, like, permanent upgrades to your playing cards. This is permanent upgrades to your run as a whole. Honestly, I think I don't spend anything this round. Right, because I'm going to skip this, which gives me a free Mega Buffoon pack. Aces gives plus 20 chips and plus 4 multiplier. $2 per discard if no discard are used by the end of the round. Oh, so I don't use... Oh, I guess the round is the entire fight. Retrigger each play two, three, four, or five. <laughs> Sell this card to create a free double tag. Gives a copy of the next selected tag. The fuck is a tag? Weird. I think I want to go for the retrigger and the aces. I don't know. It seems janky, but. All spade cards are debuffed. Alright, let's try this. Because we're going to need as much points as we can get. Yeah, scores, no chips, and abilities are disabled. Which abilities, I guess, means the little thing on it. Okay, so what do we learn? Three of a kind is really the highest and simplest thing we can get. Right? Four of a kind was obviously better, but that's um, that's a little bit rough. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine. So, I mean, we could definitely get a straight. We need a king or an eight, I think. Hmm. And I only have five hands, so I gotta play this carefully. So what are we bet on? Getting a king or getting an eight? I don't know. Either way, I don't think I want to get rid of the queen, just in case I can get a three. Hmm. I'm gonna 
play those two just to see just to see what I get. And it re-triggers every four. Hmm. Okay, so we got a bunch of pairs here. Let's see. But still no eights, damn it. Ugh. Two pairs are not worth much at all. Two, three, four. There's a chance we can get another heart. Maybe we aim for that? So what do we have to discard? All the non-hearts, essentially. Yeah, but that would ruin all of our pairs. And if we can get three of a kind, that'd be so much better. <laughs> Oof, this is brutal. I don't think it's worth going for that. Especially because the played face cards do us plus 30. I think we just go all in with the face cards. Uh, we get rid of. Nah, we leave the 7 for next round. I think we just go with that, honestly. So I get plus 30 for each. Eh, not a terrible round. We gotta do some damage, though. Oof. Okay, so we got 3 of a kind, which is the most important thing. It's annoying that you do the full house and it's it's less. Hmm. But in this case, I could get rid of some stuff too. I want to keep the sevens in case another seven pops up. Keep the nine in case I can get like a nine eight seven thing going. Because I'm getting rid of all of the tens. I think I throw these ones away too. Uh, that's not enough points. Oh, I think that was 400, but still. Uh, da -da, 7, 6, okay. Now this hand's rough. We might have to do some discarding. We got the two kings, which is okay. And we're close to getting a flush. But flush is 15 points less than the three of a kind. So if there's a three of a kind possible, which there's two, really I should be going for that. Uh, it feels dirty, but I probably should discard these. See if I can get a seven or a king. Okay, we did get a king. Nice. Uh, t -t -t -t. But that's still not enough, though. It's kind of weird. That's the highest we can be getting, isn't it? 50 times 5, 40 times 4. I mean, obviously, 60 times 7 and 100 times 8 is the big, big boys. But... Uh... What else do we put with this? We might get rid of the Queen of Spades because it's debuffed anyway. And I get rid of the three because I think that's the least useful out of all of these. Oh, shit, we actually did it. Nice. Nice. Like, I was worried we weren't going to make that for a second. Alright, and we actually made out like frickin' bandits. Raise the cap on interest. I uh, don't fully know how that works. When blind is selected, destroy Joker to the right and permanently add double its cell value. What? Played cards with odd rank give plus 30 chips. Okay. That's actually not bad. And then I can add some cards to my deck. I th think I'll go with that, because that works well with 
the two, three, four, five, at least half of those get triggered, right? Or exactly half of those. Let's go for a standard pack. Plus 10 chips, times 2 multiplier, 1 in 4 chance to destroy. <laughs> but honestly, if we can get some good value out of it. Fuck it, I'm going for the glass jack. And then we'll do another pack. Because remember, every face card I get, I get extra value out of it, right? Plus 10 chips, 1 in 5 chance for plus 20 multiplier. 1 in 15 chance. <laughs> I just like the way it's described. One in fifteen chance to win twenty dollar. Did did no one else hear that in their head? All right, that was a that was a big round. Create up to two common jokers. You can only have up to five, so you can sell them, which is nice. I don't think I want to. Cause see this. Like, aces give plus 20 chips. Oh, that doesn't re-trigger really that one. But yeah, aces will give me plus 50 chips because of those. And these ones should trigger... Do any of them overlap? Three? Yeah, three and five should give me 60 chips because of this, right? Am I understanding that properly? Either way, yeah, I don't want to add more jokers. I don't know what the tag exactly means. Should also use these. I guess, yeah, if I'm missing one card, the wild card probably would have been good. Alright, let's do this. I want to see how this works. So essentially, I want something with a 3 and a 5 to see if I get some big points out of it. Plus 10 chips and times 2 multiplier. If I'm using this, it probably should be in a uh, a three of a kind. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, I got three diamonds. I get discard three cards. See if I can get another diamond out of it. Or just go with the nine. Huh. I really want to jack, no? So if I really want to go all in, I should just discard all of this. <laughs> Because face cards are super valuable because of this, right? Aces are the most valuable of all. Does it seem crazy? I have a two of a kind, but it's just not that good. I think this makes sense. Nice. Okay, there's our jack. Also our queen. King, queen, jack. And yeah, there's no... There's no straight or anything coming. Yeah, I think we just take that three of a kind they gave us. Uh, played cards with odd rank give chips, but only when scored. Five, there's a five, six, seven. There's multiple ways I can get a straight out of that, right? So... Yeah, I think I'll just play the jack this round and hope that it doesn't get destroyed. Oh, it survived. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, 1700. Okay, that was huge. Okay, 8765. Oh, we just need the four. Odd rank, so re-trigger three, two, three, four, and five. Play, uh, play cards at odd rank give plus thirty. Three, five, seven. Hmm. If I can just get a four out of this somehow, huh? Do I really discard this? That seems silly. There is also an ace, right? So if I actually go for... What is it? The flush. 
If I go for a flush, I could at least use my ace on my five. Oh, uh, that's weird, but... Basically, discard all of those and hope that I get two more spades. Mm. Again, I like using this because there's a chance you can win 20 bucks. That's really nice, but... I think I do that. Oh, I only got one more, it looks like. Fuck. But, wait, what did I get rid of? So, seven, six, five. Oh, I didn't get rid of the four? Hmm. Can I? No, not really. I have two threes and two sixes. I can get rid of those. Three... Four, five, six, seven. So I need a four or even an eight. Nah, I need a four regardless. I just don't want to get rid of any spades. Let's try this. Okay, so I finally got five. And I got some odd numbers out of that. Nice. So I have a flush, which uses one ace, which should give me plus 20. Uh, plus another 30 because of this. And plus 30 on the 3, the 5, and the 7. Oh, so a bunch of stuff. And they should re-trigger twice, right? Let's see, this, this should be a huge round. Plus 20, plus 30, so it was 50. Oh! Oh, wait, it only re triggered on the 5, I think? Either way, that was a big round. Big, big round. It almost worked exactly how I thought, but something felt off there. Plus 15 multiplier. One fortune chance card is destroyed at the end, but plus 50 multiplier across the board is huge. That's actually huge, and I have space for one more. Hmm. I think that fits into my build pretty well. I'm just gonna chill with that. I gotta use my wild card though. Give us a copy of the next tag. I wish I knew what the tag was. I mean, we'll see. I'll skip this. We'll fight. All face cards are drawn face down? What? Oh my. Oh, all face cards. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Okay, what's our strategy here? Face cards are my entire strategy, my entire build. Fuck. Now I don't know. Yeah, I think that just fucked me over. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, let's at least think it through. There are only four face cards, but how the hell do I know which ones I currently have? I mean, I can play all the face cards and hope that I just get matches out of them. But I'll do that one round and see how it goes. Uh... Even if I had all the face cards, so it was king, queen, jack. I don't think ace counts. Yo, it's just king, queen, jack. Yeah, if it's not ace. Mm, there's no way that I would get a straight out of those, right? Because I need to have 10, 9, essentially. Unlikely I get a flush, because they all have to be the same suit. So it's likely I get a pair of... Even two pairs seem unlikely, because I'm not picking another one out of it, so... Pairs, three of a kind. Yeah, really, that's it. So I gotta just rely on these, but... Ten, nine, three, four... If I have to rely on something, I guess it should be ace. So I'll get rid of the ten, too, but fuck me. 
Okay, so I got a pair. But yeah, see, I like... Yeah. Fuck, that's brutal. I mean, I still got a big round out of that somehow. Yeah, so two face guards. Who knows what it's going to be. But you got a 9, 8, 7, 6, maybe thing going. There's a 3, 4... Really, if I have a five, that'd be nice. I mean, I don't know. I I'll use those. Do this pair, which I don't even really feel that comfortable doing. Because again, I need uh, odd numbers. Don't really, or even numbers rather, don't really benefit. So I'll get rid of them. Yeah, I don't know. This is a really tough round to get through. Okay, so I got two pairs. That's probably the best I could have got, to be honest. Huh. Yeah, this thing giving me the plus 50 multiplier is ridiculous. Even if it uh, dies at the end of this round, that probably saved me. Okay, so no face cards here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I see you. Mm, there's a 2's we can save to get something. Okay, straight is 30. What's higher than 30? Flush is everything having the same suit. We know 3 of a kind. 3 of a kind and a pair. Uh, not really a chance of everything doing the same suit, so I think it's best to just go for that. Let's go for a straight here. Can't wait until my precious face cards come back if I survive this. Oh, we did! Nice! Oh no, it got destroyed! No, fuck, I mean, whatever. Honestly, it, it served its purpose. I don't think I would have got through the round if it wasn't for that plus 50 multiplier. You will be missed. Played face card gave plus 4. A lot of face card stuff. Plus, four, uh, plus 40 chips for each remaining discard. Hmm. Planet cards to use immediately. Tarot cards to use immediately, which I never use. I'm gonna go for this, go all in on my face guards. I think I actually am gonna save my money. Go next round. Let's see what we got. Shop has an uncommon joker, gives a free mega buffoon pack, which is another two jokers. 12,000, Jesus. All face guards are debuffed, oh god. So face guards gives me 30 chips, retrigger 2345. Aces, odds, face cards. So the most I could do if I'm getting rid of a joker, maybe I skip this one. Hope I get an uncommon joker that helps. That's only the shop though. And the only way I get to the shop is beating the next one. But if I beat this and then go here, it should automatically give me it, and this is easier. Eh, but uncommon... It doesn't matter, this is uncommon, and it doesn't feel like it helps that much. Yeah, fuck it. I'll fight this, and I'll skip the next one, I think. Oh, my precious face cards are back! Alright. So you can go for three of a kind. With all of this, that's gonna be ridiculous don't want to play my jack just yet. I'll get rid of three. Keep this because I could potentially get more spades. Or clubs, rather. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best we can do. Oh. We're going to be getting such huge points. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Almost 3,000 in one round. Uh, so, hmm. 
basically just got the two of a kind. And the two pair is double. And sevens trigger twice, sixes don't. Ten, nine, six, seven. Wait. So I can get an eight. There's a lot of stuff I can get. I really want to get this jack out the way the. Those are all my clubs, the... Uh, I think it, it should be fine. Huge multiplier because of that glass jack. Yeah, we should be good. Ooh, I really want to get this queen in there, but I need one more diamond. Huh. Ah, uh, there's three, but that takes one of my diamonds away. Oh, and I'm probably gonna get enough score just from that. I'm not sure. Hmm. I could sacrifice, get a full house, and then I would essentially need th three more diamonds, or sacrifice a lot. Now nah, that's probably too much. Let's do this. If this doesn't score enough, I should get at least two more diamonds. Come on. Oh, yeah, that didn't score enough at all. Yeah, let's go. So you got a flush with our queen and the king. That's going to be a bunch of points coming in. Oh, hoo -hoo, look at the multiplier just going up. Again. Oh, <laughs> seven thousand oh we could pull that off of the boss fight we're in good shape boys we're in real good shape mm. adds double the rank of lowest card held in hand to multiplier uh, i don't really think i can get rid of any jokers two chips for each remaining card in deck Negative one ante, negative one hand. And these all seem not that good. I'm gonna keep going. I'm sure there's some shit I'm just not understanding. But let's skip this. Get a mega buffoon pack. Extra discard every played card counts in scoring. <laughs> Ooh, that might be good because everything triggers, right? In first hand of round is a single six. Destroy it and create a spectral card. If the first hand of the round is a sing if there is a single six, I guess. It's rare, so I don't know. Cause it says played cards with odd rank gives plus chips when scored. This would make it so that they always get scored. There's a lot of stuff that's like if scored when scored. I think I get rid of this. Get the Joker that makes every card score. This is rare, but honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know how to use that just yet. Oh, I got another one? Uncommon Jokers give. Okay. I only have commons. Yeah, not much going on there, unfortunately. I think I pretty much have my Joker set up done, especially because these are debuffed. I really gotta rely on you guys now. Okay. So what are we working with? Uh, not a lot. I th we probably just discard these, I guess, right? Since we can't even use them. I guess we start with that. We'll do a discard. Uh, so we need an 8 for a straight. Uh, 
we have like a two of a kind, but that's not really that's not pushing any boundaries here. We need a three or an eight, so I guess discard all of you. Right, because if we get a three, three, four, five, six, seven, or four, five, six, seven, eight, I think I want to keep a two. Because if I get a two, I also have two, three, four, five, six. I mean, doesn't matter, but it's just an additional option, I guess. Sure. Oh, so we have the eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay. So we do that. We leave all the diamonds. So hopefully we can get something out of that. Ooh. Get some plus thirty out of them. Nothing really retriggered though. Yeah, that wasn't a big round at all. I got the aces. I really want uh, three of a kind with aces. I think that's going to be huge. So we'll try to wait for that. You can go for a pair. Or I can just do a big discard. Mm, if I'm going to discard, I probably want to leave the diamonds just in case. And probably the four, right? And that's not that much. Nah, I think I go all in on getting an ace. So leave the two and the four. Just so if I get enough diamonds, I could do something with it. The queen is a diamond, but... Eh. I mean, it probably... It doesn't score chips, but it probably counts in the setup, right? You'd think. Uh, let's hope so, because that was my last discard. Yeah, and I didn't get any diamonds. Ooh, that's not good. Um, oh, wait, no, I did. No, I did get another diamond. Or, no, it's just a heart. I'm just blind. Oh, no, we're so close, guys. I think this is it. I don't think we can get through. I will do the ace and the jacks. Get rid of the king. Save the queen in case you get a couple more stuff. But yeah. Yeah, those guys being debuffed. Maybe we rely not as much on the face cards next run. Don't know if they did it on purpose, but it definitely fucked me up. Okay, we need one more diamond. We can't really discard, can we? You can do that and hope I get a three. Or a third one for three of a kind. I'm gonna get zero points for this though. Well, I get some points for the four because everything gets scored, but that's not gonna do it, boys. Uh, yeah, this is rough. Yeah, I guess we just gotta go out in class. Yeah, that's the end of this run. It wasn't too bad though. We actually got pretty far. I think this is the furthest I've ever gotten. One more hand for 10,000 points. Biggest hand you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, there's not a lot going on here. Oof. Didn't even break. Oh, 3,000. You got a 7,000 hand. That was pretty cool. Mostly played three of a kind, which makes sense seeing that that one scored the most for whatever reason. Alright, new run, boys.
Joker, Tarot, Planet, and Spectral cards may appear multiple times. Interesting. But we didn't get another deck. Plus one Han. I like the plus one Han, I think. Ah, let's go. I like the plus one Han. The plus one discard's okay. But... Gives a copy of the next selected tag. Adds one voucher to the next shop. Which is kind of useless, to be honest. I'll skip you and play you. Because I don't have enough money to buy two vouchers, I don't think. Not this early on. Okay, we can do a big flush with that. That's a great way to start. And keep our 3, 4, 5. Okay. Nice, let's do it. Oh, big round. Big, big round. Uh, hmm. You don't need a ton of points, so I'll go for a two pair. Yeah, I'll just go with that. <laughs> eh, almost enough. Uh, it's two, three, four, five. Not much you can do there. Guess just another two pair to finish off. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Hopefully that was the right decision. I also want to figure out what tags are in the first place. So. It's a good way to check it out. Um, select two cards, convert the left card into the right card? Uh, oh, so you get rid of one and get another one? Interesting. Gains $3 of sell value at the end of the round. Okay, so you basically just keep it and sit on it. I guess the earlier you get that, the better, right? All cards and packs in shop are 25% off. Because I can afford it, I think this is probably the best thing to get this early. 25% off the shop from now on, even though the egg would have been nice. Uh, I mean, both would be ideal, but eh, let's continue. Cards played previously this ante are debuffed. Okay, so this is kind of uh, ended as soon as you can type of thing, it feels like. What do you mean? Played previous... Oh, any cards that I played this run, they mean. Oh, fuck. I mean, I have a bunch of clubs. Um, yeah, I think I want to try to get the clubs in there. So let's do just a pair. Throw the four that is deep off to end this five just to get rid of it. It's not going to be a high scoring hand, but I think it's better to just get some points than discard. I could be wrong. Yeah, okay. So I got those four... Yeah, if I had a five, it'd be nice, but I think I do what I can. I just get a flush. That's going to be huge. I can discard those next round. Hmm, okay. Ooh, it's a lot of debuffed cards, though. What can I work with, though? Really, three of a kind is the best thing I can get? Or the most efficient thing? Is it the same? It stays the same score, right? Oh, it changes per round, too? Because three of a kind was definitely worth 50, wasn't it? Yeah. So maybe those change a little bit? These are still the same. 
What's the most efficient now then? Uh, 35 times 4. Probably that. So 5 cards of the same suit is worth way more than... I shouldn't say... Yeah, that's worth a decent amount more. And then 3 of a kind. Okay, so it's good to check that. Full house, which is 3 of a kind in a pair, is actually worth the most now. Okay, so three of a kind and a pair, and everything in the same suit is huge. Hmm. So three of a kind and pair is what I want to be working with here. Uh, do I want to keep the ace? Probably. Get rid of the five. Hey, there we go. So three of a kind and a pair. Well, yeah, full house. Because that's 44. That's 33. So yeah, absolutely worth more. Alright. And the ace is one of the most scoring ones. Yeah, that was good. The ace is one of the better scoring ones too. Another face guard would have been nice for the pair. But we hit it anyway. So, Celestial Packs for your most played poker hand, which I'm assuming is this. So it would basically give me something for two pair or flush, which yeah, I don't even really want. Level up pair. So pair gives you another multiplier and more chips. But just pair though. Basically it would be 10-3. Hmm. Which is still worse than two pair, which is 22. So that doesn't seem worth it. But level up two pair, right? Two pair would now be 23, which is nice. So I think I go for that. There's buy and buy and use. I'm just gonna. Is this the tag they were talking about? Gives a copy of the next elected tag. Buy and use this. Yeah, that is a tag, I think. So I just got two of those. Uh, what was it before? It was 23. 10 to... No, it was 22, wasn't it? So now it's 43. Yeah, that's not bad. And I have five bucks left. Uh... I mean, pairs also go up too, but honestly, I think I saved my money and just keep going. So create up to two common jokers, $5 per skip blind. So if I skip both of those, I get 10 bucks. I have no jokers, so I'm gonna skip this. Uh, what the hell? I got so many jokers. Plus one per hand played and negative one per discard. So this one doesn't like me discarding. Odd ranks give more chips. Cards with hard give plus multiplier. Face cards. Oh, this is a foil one too. I don't know what that means. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Plus one multiplier per hand. So if you don't discard and just keep playing, the multiplier goes up and up. But... I honestly don't like that that much. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so as usual, the two pairs are... Two pairs is better than three of a kind. So two pairs is one of our bigger scoring ones right now. The only thing better than two pair is a full house, which is three of a kind and a pair. Hmm, well... Flush is probably better too, because it is times four. Yeah, it is. And straight. Yeah, actually all the the fours are better. But two pair is a consistent one. Hmm, okay, okay. Hmm. What am I getting for flush now? 
flush is better than two pair. I need one more for a flush. Uh, I don't want to discard this pair. Let me see. So I discard everything that's not a spade and not the jack. That doesn't fuck me up too much, right? I don't think. There is something. Yeah, every heart played does give me an additional multiplier. So, you know. But I just didn't get hearts. So you can't really control that. Okay, so I got three of a kind. Which is actually worse than two pairs right now. And I did not get another spade either. <laughs> That's rough. I mean, if three of a kind isn't even better than two pairs, maybe I get rid of this one and hope I just get the spade. Like, flush is 35, 4, 33. So that is quite a bit better. Yes. Okay, so I did get another jack. So I can do my flush. Still have jack, so hopefully I get another pair out of that. No hearts, unfortunately, but... I gotta start figuring out how to get some... Oh, that was a huge round, actually. Nice! Okay, that was worth it. We got it within one turn. Big, big round. And nine dollars, okay. One in two chance to create a tarot card when any booster pack is opened. That seems interesting. Plus a multiplier if played hand contains a three of a kind. Huh, so now three of a kind get, goes up to plus 15 multiplier. And if it contains a three of a kind, there's also full house, which is three of a kind in a pair. Okay, I think we need to get that. I think this is good too. And then we can get a booster pack. I still don't fully get the whole planet thing. Level up two pair, level up three of a kind, level up straight. Two pair, three of a kind, straight. I mean, two pairs is already ridiculous. Three of a kind is plus two, though. Straight is the most unlikely of all of these, so. And isn't this. Plus 12 if it contains three of a kind. I think we do that. Let's just go all in on three of a kind. Oh, it's going to be weird. This is going to be weird. And then we can go to the next round. Decrease level of played poker hand. I don't know exactly what that means, to be honest. Market data connection lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Things screaming in the background. So three of a kind. Three of a kind is what we really want here. That's essentially three of a kind and I guess full house, which is three of a kind and a pair. So everything else is just nonsense. Hearts is an additional bonus, but I think we just discard everything that doesn't give me, that isn't already part of a pair, right? Because I really wanted that three of a kind. Nice. The two pairs is also huge as well. So what I could do... Give me the two pairs, right? Still pretty big. Th throw this in there, which isn't going to get counted for. But, you know, I just get rid of it. And now I have a three of a kind for next round. Oh, is that what the level thing? Ugh. Okay. 
Still don't fully get that, but that wasn't a terrible round. Okay, so we still have our three of a kind. Uh, really the only thing that's that good. I say let's put our three of a kind in there. Get the... I mean... Face cards are good, so I probably want to keep that. So let's put the 10 and the 8, because I want to keep the 7 in case I can get something there. This should be a good hunt. To 9 is 2, minus 20. Plus 7, plus 11, plus 15, plus 27. Oh, ho, ho. huge. Okay, that plus 12, 3 of a kind is nice. That's really nice. With three hands to go to. Aces give plus 20 chips. 100 chips if played hand contains three of a kind. <laughs> Are we actually doing this? Oh god. Oh, I need more space though. I need someone. Face cards. Uh, I mean, the heart isn't terrible, but the plus 30 chips, that's more likely to trigger. That's very likely to trigger. This, I haven't really gotten usage out of yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the Lusty Joker. I'm gonna buy the Willy Joker. So our three of a kind is just ridiculous. The hand size is also huge because there's a bigger chance that we get three of a kind. And what was it? So create a tar card when any booster pack is open. So I specifically need to open booster packs to get the benefit from that. Which I guess it didn't work this time. Retrigger this card one time. Plus six chips, plus 30 extra chips. If it gets triggered, and it gets triggered twice, what the hell? I mean, sure? I don't know if that's good or I'm just tripping balls over nothing. I'm probably tripping balls over nothing. Gives a free Mega Buffoon pack, Mega Standard pack. I think I have a good Joker setup. I'll go for this. Skip the other one and get some more cards. Okay. So three of a kind is what we want to go for here. Or two pairs. To be honest, two pairs is... Well, no, three of a kind is like really, really good. So... Hmm. So what would I get rid of then? I guess those. Keep the queens, keep the sixes. Uh, okay, so now I have multiple pairs. Uh, in that case, I think I will... Let me see. Mm, odd numbers gives me additional chips. So, But I don't really have any odd number pairs. So I think I'll do... 8, 8, 6, 6. Just get the... Here. Oh, is the two pairs not increased anymore now? Oh, is it only for that particular run that I had it? Hmm, it might be, because they're back to being shit now. <sighs> uh, that hurts, that hurts. Okay, so if that's the case, then it's just a different strategy. Um, because I think flush is back to being better. Or three of a kind in a pair. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it would carry it over, but I guess not. These do. Hmm. But like the extra bonuses I had wasn't. Oh well. Uh, three of a kind is still the better thing I have. Queen, king. Uh, sh I can do 
do something like that, get her straight. Is there a better way to do it? Yeah, I don't think I'm really saving anything. No three of a kinds, but that should be a good round. Yeah, huge multiplier because of that. Okay, nice. Yeah, that was ridiculous. And there's my three of a kind. Yeah, we're good. Three of a kind with a full house. If it can, I want to see this because it said if it contains three of a kind, it should go up by 12. Yeah, it did. Okay. So full house is the best usage of that I can have by far. Uh, what do we got? Earn an extra dollar of interest for every five dollars you have. I honestly don't know how the interest works. Is it like TFT? Like every ten dollars you get an extra dollar at the end of the round? This is huge. Every card played counts in scoring. That's really huge. Defeat boss blind or restock. Huh. So I might need to get rid of a joker for this. Because this allows every card to trigger. Um, which basically means that, you know, the odd cards would be huge. Face cards would basically just be an automatic uh, automatic way to boost your your counter I want to say let's get rid of this booster pack one and get the joker where everything counts get another card so nine chips one in five chance oh it's just lucky and it also re-triggers the damn Huh. It's a 9, which isn't... It's nothing special. Oh, I mean, no. It does give me another plus 30. Hmm. And every card would trigger. Or it would trigger every time. Alright, I think that's huge. Let's go for it. Uh, and then I skip this one. It's weird skipping, it's just a mechanic built into this, but it creates a tarot card when discarded, plus 50 chips when I play this, but it's a 6, which doesn't particularly combo with anything else. Plus 3 chips, plus 3 dollars if this card is held in hot at the end of round. So you basically just keep this in your hand and you just keep getting more and more money. Hmm. Again, every card counts in scoring. So this is essentially an easy hundred chips. So I say probably get the king just so I have more. And then get that six just for re-triggering. And let's see how that works. Discards. Oh, this is the discard one. Yeah, fuck. It's brutal because I really want to get, like trying to save up for three of a kind is way harder because of this. Uh, no. Hmm. Uh, I can just do this. Get the queen in there, try to get as much points as I can early on. Uh, hope that the five doesn't get discarded, it probably will though, right? That should be a good amount of points. Yeah, one of the fives got discarded. That just triggers, gets the multiplier up. That gives me 50, triggers again. Oh yeah, that was huge. Even though that wasn't a bar. I wasn't confident about that round, but that was huge. Two, three, four, five, no six, of course. But we got the four. So we got three of a kind. Um, can we do any combo? No. But I can put both of these in. They're going to trigger anyway because of that. Yeah, I think we go for that. That, that should still be huge. That actually might be enough just for the to end this round. 
Oh yeah, easily. That plus 100 is ridiculous. Willy Boy Joker. Hmm. Plus 10 if played hand contains a flush. Which were not really working. It is interesting that you build you build around getting a certain type of hand more reliably. It's weird. Times three multiply if all cards held in hand are spades or clubs. Kinda specific. Permanently gain plus one hand per round. If I mean plus one hand size, that's ridiculous. Of course we're gonna get that. Um, and what do we got here? Tarot cards, which I haven't been using, or planet cards. The planet cards are good because those are... How do you even see your planet cards? Uh, those are my vouchers. I mean, I guess I'll... I don't need a joker because I have enough. And if I get the tower card, it's used immediately. Eh, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Let's see what the tower card does. So enhances one selected card into a gold card, which makes me money. Destroys two cards. One in four chance to add a foil, holographic, or polychrome addition to a random joker. Fuck it, let's do it. Nope. <laughs> whatever. It was worth it. Okay. Rerolls the boss blind. All face cards are debuff. Rerolls in an action shop. Honestly, yeah. Let's get a new one. Must play five cards. Ah, fuck it. I'll deal with that. Let's just fight this one. Uh, okay, so we're looking at three of a kind, right? That's that's what we really want here. We have two combos. Or two pairs. Uh, I guess let's start by discarding those. See what we get. Nice. Okay. This is pretty much like one of the higher scoring things we could get. This is going to be big, big round. Eight thousand. We almost one cleared this round. Damn. I knew that was gonna be crazy though. Um, we really don't need a lot here, and there's not much benefit to. What does that do? Ah, why? It's so random. Anyway, yeah, there's no need to overkill here. So let me do something like that. Get the queen in, just because we'll get triggered anyway. That should be enough. It was enough. Nice. Card with hearts. Plus one multiplier per tarot card. Eh, honestly, I'll just keep going. So we gotta beat this to restock that one shop. And we have to play at least five cards or exact... Oh, I guess you have to play the full five, yeah. Okay, well, we have a three of a kind. That's a huge... Actually... Three of a kind plus two aces is an amazing way to start. Because this is going to trigger twice. We got a hundred chips just from that. Plus another hundred chips because of that. Oh shit. We did half of it. That was big. And we got another three of a kind. We don't have a pair to throw with it, unfortunately. Hmm. I can kind of save up to 10, 9, 8, 7. Maybe I don't mess with this. Because if I get a jack or a 6, you know, I can do a full or a straight, which is a great. So let me do those two. Queen is still going to count. Oh, did I? Oh, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. So I need a jack or a 6, basically. And that would be a great way to do the next round. 
damn, I'm, yeah, this is ridiculous. I'm burning through. Didn't get a jock, but I don't think it matters. I'll just do that. Throw the queen in for extra points. I think we're good. This is a ridiculous combo of jokers. The three of a kinds. Plus, this is one of my favorite. Having every card count and scoring. Yeah, we good, we good. Look at us learning how to play the game. Two dollars interest, or three remaining hand dollar for each. One interest per five dollars. Oh, that's how it works. So I got two dollars, I guess, from that. Yeah, and three dollars for the hands. Okay. Sure. So there's a incentive to save money. Adds double the rank of lowest card hell in hand to multiplier. It says double the rank, but I don't know what that means. Poor card discarded. Does nothing. Really? I don't think you can get rid of it. Do I have to get that just to clear, to clear it out? I mean, I'm going to buy it, but that's... Annoying. Because I don't know if this refreshes if I don't do that. Um, this has five. I guess I'll use this to find a uh, planet card. Level up three of a kind. Always a good thing. Level up four of a kind. So I'll definitely level up the three of a kind. Oh, and I guess that works for this run. Yeah, so the planet cards is what I thought would carry over between runs, but that's what doesn't. So now you can see it's upgraded. Okay. Uh, oh, and I only picked one of those. All right, I kind of get how it works now. After defeating the boss blind, gain 15 bucks. Gives a free Mega Buffoon pack, which I don't want to skip. I think I skip you and fight you, but the face cards being face down is always such a pain in the ass, man. I, I don't like dealing with that. Mm, so what do we got here? I want to trigger the nine. I'd like to trigger with the three of a kind, obviously, but uh, I can do that for a pair. And then throw those in just to get rid of them. These obviously will get counted anyway. I hope that was the right way to go. We'll see. I need so much points now too. It's insane. Eh, not terrible. Yeah, I didn't get what I needed out of that though. Fuck. Uh, I think I have to get rid of all of those. Because I'm really going hard on three of a kind here. Three of a kind is like my everything. So I'll discard those. Uh, still nothing. Fuck. I did get two sevens though. So I can do another discard and hope I get something here. Or play the sevens with those just to get something because I only have two discards left. Yeah, I really was in a high scoring round though, so I'm not too sure about this. Yeah, it was only 900. Uh, okay, there's my three of a kind. Sure. <sighs> Maybe I just do that because these are clubs. Two more clubs and I can at least get rid of those. Yeah, let me just do the nine. Oh, I should have done a nine with the queen, actually. Fuck. It's fine. Because that would have given me at least one extra chance, but... Yeah, you can see how big of a round three of a kind is. It's insane. Okay, you know, we got another three of a kind. Um... We still only have three of those. So, maybe get rid of you two. 
I hope I get two more clubs out of this. This is going to be another big scoring round because of all of the face cards. Oh, we actually beat it with that. Nice. I didn't think it was going to be that out of a score. Jeez. Cash out, what do we got? One free reroll per shop, which is nice, but I'm good with jokers. Earn five dollars if poker hand is a straight flush. Poker hand changes on every payout. I just don't know what the hell this to-do list thing is. <laughs> what the hell is that about? I think I keep going for pl uh, planet cards though, because those are what levels up my pairs. A uh, full house is technically a three of a kind type thing. Or two pair. I think I go for the full house here. Less likely, but if I get it, it's going to be even bigger scores. So. And this is what I'm not looking forward to the freaking face down. Okay, that's not a terrible way to start, actually. We use a guaranteed three of a kind, put both face cards because, at worst, they just increase our multiplier. This actually isn't the worst case scenario because they all get counted in scoring. So they're always going to be useful, but these are the cards that I'm actually relying on. Like just the number cards. But fuck, that was huge. We got another three of a kind. Nice. I uh, could get like a straight somewhere, but if I can get a two of a kind and a pair, that would be ideal, obviously. Um, I mean, we have the two of a kind. So, what do we want to do? I think, yeah, maybe keep the face card because, nah, the face card is going to be used for this. So, get rid of the face card. Honestly, it's just random. Just get rid of a bunch of these. Hope I find another four. Which, oh, I got a six. Yeah, I'll take that. Honest, my, my big boy six. Yeah. Because that has a three of a kind in it, so. Again. Kind of low scoring, but still counts oh well geez even with that we didn't do that much damage though um what are we looking at here we do have two pairs but again i don't really want to rely on that i think maybe discard all of these and hope for the best okay we got the four we got the three Really low scoring, uh, really low scoring full houses we're getting, unfortunately. But take what you get. Yeah, we're chipping away. We only have three more hands, though. So we have two pairs. We have two face cards, which could be anything. I mean, obviously, that wouldn't help out with three of a kind. Um,. I think we just do this again. Keep the tens, keep the sixes, discard everything. Oh, we keep getting like saved by these. Because look how much face cards there are. Holy crap. But I think this is it actually. Because this is going to get triggered twice. Ah, oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Whew, this is basically the boss I'm most worried about when I'm going... Well, this isn't even the build exactly. It's more when I was relying on face guards. This is more relying on three of a kind. Ooh, money for this! Spades, level up high card. Plus one and ten shit? What? Oh, it's just high card, which is just this. 
to be honest, I never use high card, so reroll boss blind one time per ante, ten dollars per roll. Sure, I'll take that. Just in case I get into one that I don't really like. One of King Guard, the Jokers again. I think I'm probably good. So let's just get some standard cards. Three chips can be used as any suit. Hmm. And I guess an S is a tech tech technically a six. Um. I mean. Oh no, it's just plus three. No, it's just a three. Uh, can be used as any suit, but I don't think I'm concerned about that. I'll just get another seven, I think. Get some that's in the middle. Play only one hand. What? Wait, so I have one hand to make? Yeah, fuck that. Let's reroll that shit. Start with your discards. Uh, I'll take it. I don't care. One hand? What kind of professional do you think I am? Okay, so we start off with a three. That's not bad. Uh, I guess get the king in there to boost it up. Get an ace in there just for more points. Sure. I don't even think we can get the 30,000, to be honest. I kind of feel like I've tapped out on... How much like I need to get higher multipliers I want to say the plus chips is good but I think plus multiplier that's what really ramps you up uh, three four five six seven or you can go eight down uh, hmm. maybe do that because we have four spades left over so you can do a straight and then hopefully we get a full house after that a uh, full house, uh, flush. Oh, that really didn't do that much. And we didn't get our flush either. We didn't get our flush and we didn't get our three of a kind. I could discard these and hope I get something. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, so this is the highest scoring thing I could ask for. Well, I mean, it could be kings, right? But for right now, the, if this doesn't get me... Oh, but this might not even break 20,000, though. Let's see. Let's see. It's going to be close. Yeah, see, I didn't even break 20,000 with that. Hmm. I guess I'll go with the 9. They're both 10. But this is a face card. So I'll play this, I guess, while I have the guaranteed opportunity. I've never had the lucky chance of this go off yet, but you never know. Today might might be the day. I mean, it did give me the one in five chance for the multiplier, so that heh, nice. What we got a 10k achievement? Is that 10k in one round? Damn. Okay, so luck playing a huge factor in a poker game. Who would have thought? Discarded. Ah, uh, double. Planet cards. I think you just keep going for planet cards, I guess. I don't know. Because those are what makes everything better, right? Full house, straight, flush. Uh, full house is, includes three of a kind. So I definitely want to use that for sure. Uh, and then I'll use another one. Uh, I 
we'll just get three of a kind itself leveled up. Yeah, this is what I wasn't using before, so it makes sense. The planet cards increases your actual combo counter, which then allows you to get higher scores if that's, you know, if those are the type of cards you get. So I have no discards, which sucks. But your boy started with a three of a kind. Uh, I have queen, jack, ten, and nine. So I think I keep those and get rid of the ace and the four. Hopefully I can get a straight out of that. That'd be nice. So that four is just kind of there for moral support, really. Eh, not bad. I basically need one of those every single round just to beat this. That's that's kind of insane. So, Queen, Jack, 10, 9. I did not get the 8, unfortunately. <sighs> Fuck. There is a 3? But... So, really, I need a King or an 8. Huh. I could gamble and because I really should gamble on the three of no three of a kind is a big thing though. So I mean, even if I get another three, huh? But I don't want to get rid of the nine. Uh oh, and I can't discard. True, yeah, I forgot I had no discard, so I have to do something every round. <sighs> Fuck me. I mean, I could play a garbage round and use that as my discard. Hope I get something. Uh, it's not gonna be good though. Basically, give up on the the straight because that's not where the points are. Full house, three of a kind, and a pair is by far the biggest thing. So, I need three of a kind and a pair. I have two pairs, so play this garbage hand. But really isn't going to give me a lot of points. And I hope I get a 3 or a queen. If not, then I'm screwed. I got the queen. Nice. I got the king. Gee. Okay, okay. This is ridiculous. So, we'll get our full house with a king and a queen. You really can't ask for more. Alright, this might single-handedly get us over 30,000. And we still have another three waiting for. This is going to be ridiculous. Ah, no, nah, actually wasn't as ridiculous as I thought. Huh. Not as ridiculous as I thought. I have a bunch of pairs, but as you can see, there's no three of a kind. Two pairs, yeah, two pairs ain't ain't where it's at either. Fuck. There's a full, uh, there's a straight, but a straight isn't even worth that much. Hmm. And a straight would basically ruin all of my pairs. What do I have? Eight, seven. Yeah, basically there's eight sevens and threes. Do I play a garbage round again and hope I get one of those? Or just do two pairs. It's even less likely for me to get anything good out of that. Huh. Feels like playing the garbage is the only way to go. Yeah, I'll go for it. Let's see. But I really would have to have a good two rounds, essentially. Because that was nothing. Uh, yeah, I think I'm fucked. I didn't get anything. I mean, I can do nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but yeah, it's not enough. And none of those are face guards. Uh, yeah, I think this this might be it, boys. Yeah, we're running 820. Yeah, this is it. This has to be the biggest round of our life, and it is not. Yeah, just put those in. GG. We got really deep though. It actually wasn't that bad at all. The zero discards somehow fucked me over more than 
uh, not being able to see my face cards. That's crazy. Ugh. All right, so we got new jokers or new decks as well. So start with extra ten bucks. In one hand, earn at least ten thousand. Oh, that's just how you unlock them. Double all the listed probabilities. One in three is two and three. Okay, interesting. So start with an extra ten bucks. Is that better? Eh. Honestly, fuck it. We're near the end of the stream anyway, so I'll, I'll at least try it for you guys. So you can, anyone interested in the game can take a look. See what it's like. So after defeating the boss, gain 15 bucks. Plus three hand size just for the next round, though. Honestly, let's go greedy boy build. So skip you. I'll play you. But the whole goal is we want to make us, like, just lean into the fact that we start with so much money. Uh, okay, so right now everything's just base level. Three of a kind, still ideal. Three of a kind with two pair. Uh, yeah, three of a kind and a pair is still ideal. Or the flush. Hmm. Just go simple for now. It is a little bit even more dangerous in these early stages though because you don't have like the score you need to hit is lower but you don't have jokers or really anything to help boost you up hmm. interesting ass han we got here so i guess we can discard these ones I mean, there are two hearts, though. Hmm. Discard those and see. Okay, so we got another heart, and we got a pair. Yeah, full house is the way to go. Or flush? Well, flush is slightly less than a full house. So full house and flush seems to be... That's our money makers this time. Okay. Almost close to another full house. It's not really close to anything else. What do we need? Just one more spade? Sure. Sure. See if we got one more spade. No, not even a one. Damn. Uh, just play a matchy match. Um, let's play those. Come on, I gotta get one more spade, right? And I have another discard. Come on, two hands. I should be able to get one more spade. Still no? Are you kidding me? Uh, I guess I got. Th Three of a kind, which uses one of the spades. Get rid of you guys. I need three. Oh, this is actually the last round, though. Mm -mm. Honestly, that's probably fine. I think the three of a kind should be good. Yeah, we only need like 20, 30 more points. So cards with even rank give us plus four multiplier or the hundred chips for three of a kind, which was that served us well last run. An extra card slot is available in the shop. Choose one of two Joker cards, Tarot cards. Let's lean into something else. I'll go for the even rank cards. I'll buy a Joker. hand size for sure uh, I think I'll save my money because we're gonna get a bunch of money after we beat this boss so and it discards two cards which is fucking annoying so nothing's really leveled up again 
three of a kind in a pair and four of the same suit is the best ways we have right now. But I think I just gotta go with the two of a kind. I mean, I'd prefer to use the ace in something it can be counted with, so play the four. Ah, right, it discards the, so, I mean, I guess it's a risk, but yeah, there's no guarantee it's even going to stay in my hand, so, I really don't, I don't like this one too much, but, I don't know, I guess later on, you can see I'm making enough points, so it's not that big of a deal yet, let's go for another two pair, um, again, it doesn't matter what I move, I'll do this and hope that at least the ace or jack stays, yeah, the ace stayed. Okay. Frankly, I think that's good enough. No? I was mistaken. Okay. Uh, let's go for another two pair. It's the highest value you can get. I should also speed this up too. I was slowing it down, obviously, because I just started playing today, but... There is an option in the, uh, the settings to speed up the game. I think I'm going to do that now that i got a handle on things. Okay. Yeah, we got all kinds of money from 23. We're rolling in it. Face cards give 30 plus chips. Retrigger all card held in hand. Retrigger all card held in hand abilities. Huh. It re-triggers the abilities of cards held in your hand? All cards and packs and shop are 25% off. That... But is that forever though? I forget if that's the same as before. Um, okay. Let me see here. First thing, let me look at the settings. So yeah, game speed. We'll go to 2 and see how that looks. I will buy you first, which makes everything cheaper. I will get both of you. I'm going to add a playing card to my deck, which should be even, either an even ranked card or a face card. Creates a planet card if it's held at the end of the round. And this says it re-triggers held, oh, the held and Han abilities. I see. So I kind of locked myself into going for this then, didn't I? Okay. This is a learning experience for us both. Two Joker cards, Celestial Pack. I think I'll go for the other one. Let's try it this way. Hmm. So again, nothing... I don't have any Planet cards, so we're still going for Full House or Flushes for the big money. Uh, we have... Two pairs, three pairs actually, with Ace and Jack being far more enticing. Uh, let's do you. Kind of a garbage round. If you get either a Jack or an Ace, I think that'll make up for this. So that's that's fine. Just 48. Then we did not get a Jack or an Ace. So this time, I we're not really close. To flush. I think we discard. Uh, I mean, we have the nine. Hmm. Fuck, that's brutal. Do we discard one more time and see? We need a nine, a jock, or an ace. Come on. Now nah, we're getting really unlucky here. Okay. I mean, at this point, we might as well discard again. I think we're all in. Because. There's nothing I can play that really helps. Fuck me. That's brutal. Okay, I guess we'll just do the ace and the jack because that's our highest scoring. Plus the two just to get rid of it. Mm, yeah, it was not good at all. Okay, now the nine fucking shows up. But at least that gives us another ten. So sure, we get a full house. Might have saved our ass with that. Yeah, we absolutely saved our ass with that. Jeez. Hmm. 
Hmm. Joker cards, playing cards. I think I'm good for now, to be honest. Yeah, I want to skip this because I want the Celestial Pack. Flush, high card, four of a kind, pair, three of a kind. So even hand size and face cards is really all I have. So what's the easiest way to trigger face cards? Four of a kind is very unlikely, right? So generally I don't go for that. Pair might not be bad. Flush kind of could be easy too. Obviously, three of a kind is my go-to. I'll, I'll do three of a kind at least for the level up. And I get one more. Which I'll do flush for that. And uh, all face cards. Oh, I hate this one. Alright. No face cards for the first round, but no triples, which is really... Triples or flushes is what we want. And we're not close to any of them. I mean, we can be risky, get rid of all of these, and hope that we see a 9 or an ace. Because the two pair, honestly, is, it doesn't do that much. I think we discard here. That's the key. Yeah, okay. There's a face card. Don't care. I'll do my 9 and the ace. Which, it's not a face card, so it's not going to trigger that, unfortunately. But... Face cards basically are just out of this equation. Okay. What I will do is the three of a kind and the two face cards just as a gamble in case they're the same. Oh, let's go. That was a good gamble. Fuck, that was huge. Yeah, that one gamble saved my ass. Because if they were the same, which they were, I would have gotten huge points, which I did. Oh, big chimp brain, please. Face cards give you plus four. Do I go all in on the face cards? Even cards give you... Yeah, I think... Oh, I only have four, so yeah, I'll buy you. Currently gain plus one hand per round, which is good because of my three card thing needed and yeah i'm gonna add two cards to my deck 50 chim chips chimps no ranker suit plus 10 multiplier and gets re-triggered so i probably want that uh this does Give me plus four multiplier for... Create a planet card if it's held in your hand. Sure, I'll go for that. Add a voucher, free mega pack, that's fine. Hmm. Damn, they fucked me over like this already? There's just threes which aren't really that good. Actually, none of these are good. Yeah, this is really not good. The most I could see is a full house with diamonds, but I mean, there's the pair, but it's a really low pair. I'm thinking get rid of those. Keep that in case. Hope I get some diamonds. Uh, no, I got enough diamonds, but I want to hold this in my hand, annoyingly. But whatever, I'll go for that. Get my flush. Big points, right? Because all the even numbers. Yeah, I can't really miss that opportunity. Hmm. A lot of shit going on here that's not working together, unfortunately. Obviously, I want to keep the face cards because of how big that is. Just discard all of those. I think so. I honestly, I need more face cards, which hmm. Technically, I only got one set of face cards, but that might not be a bad play. Uh, yeah, it wasn't terrible. 
I should be able to get out of this relatively unscathed. Uh, yes, yeah, doesn't matter what I click. Okay, not bad, not bad. Converts three cards to hearts. Interesting. Tarot cards, spectral. I'll keep going. Again, I'm not fully sure how the tarot cards and all that shit works. Holographic or polychrome. Creates a planet card if it's held in your hand. Plus five, but plus four multiplier. Times two, it just times two your multiplier. That seems ridiculous because I already have an even thing. And one times, yeah, I think we go for those because there's the times and there's the plus. I wasn't really looking at the math that properly. Multiplying is obviously way better. So, cards drawn face down after each hand played, or after I play them, then they come back face down, is what they're saying. As you can see, I don't have anything particularly interesting to do here. I don't really want to use my face guards up. Maybe I do something like that just to get started. Oh god, now they're all face down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand how this is going to work. Complete luck as to whether... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll hope that one of these was a f queen. Nah. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this. Fuck me. Ah! It's all face down. What the fuck do I do? Jesus, that's savage. I mean, I got two pairs at least. Yeah, there's no way in hell. I'm surprised I even did as good as I have so far. But it's like, there's no... I'm basically playing by completely guessing. I'm still doing not bad. I mean, basically if I have a big round here, I might actually beat this. This will be so stupid. Nah, nah, I can't. I can't, okay. God himself couldn't have got through that one. <laughs> Alright, chimps. Thank you for joining me for another... Bacon Lover tries. Oh, we got a new deck. At the end of each round, $2 per remaining Han, $1 per remaining discard, but I don't earn any interest. And I got a new Joker. Prevents death if chips scored are at least 25% of chips required. Or required chips, but self destruct? Okay, I don't fully get that one. But anywho, thank you for joining me for another Bacon Lover Tries. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. More than likely the same game. I actually do like this. It's it's more addicting than I thought it would be. Relatively simple, but as you can see, there is a shit ton of decks, right? And then on top of the decks with all the jokers, you can just check uh, take a look at the collection. They really tout their 150 different jokers you can unlock, which basically each joker completely changes the, the way you're uh, going about the run in typical roguelike fashion. Tons of cards that I haven't unlocked yet. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to do here. So I'll likely be back tomorrow with another episode of Bacon Lover Tries. Until then, you chimps, take it easy, and I will see you then. And hit that goddamn follow button. Alright, take it easy, chimps.